We are forecasting that by 2026, seven petabytes of data will be generated per second global. And this is enter enterprise data up from two and a half petabytes in 2021. We also know that the velocity of data is increasing and much of that is coming from uh, IoT and other devices. And one of the other variables that we are tracking is the number of those data generating devices. And we expect that to continue to grow at around 6% annually. We know that data is growing. I think the one uh, of the major things that's different now is that there is a higher level of involvement in the organization. 87% of the respondents to our research say that their executives have explicitly articulated the need to be more data driven. It's now the number one lever uh, to running digital businesses. How well you derive value from data analytics is increasingly impacting growth. I want to focus on five key trends underlying these larger macro trends. When organizations are evaluating the data cloud, 82% of them place great importance on the platform's integrated set of capabilities. At the same time, 83% of organizations say that they lack that architectural layer that helps them create that unification. In another study, we found that 70% of data leaders, as compared to data laggers, say that it's important for a data clouds to be based on open protocols. There are two underlying trends there. One is moving from manual processes to more augmented and automated processes. And then the second is moving from deterministic rules-based systems to more probabilistic in this case, uh, machine learning uh, based systems. By 2025, uh, at least 90% of new uh, enterprise application releases will include embedded AI functionality. And also 80% of organizations say that having embedded support for AI ML model execution makes them more likely to choose a particular data platform. Obviously investment in business intelligence has existed for many years. But we're starting to see some new trends there as well. It's one trend, so embedding BI into entire enterprise applications is critical for the vast majority of organizations. They also we're moving from individual to more collaborative environments. About 80% of organizations want to reach a broader audience internally, but also two thirds of them want to reach an external audience. We're seeing that as a result of investments in improving enterprise intelligence, about three quarters of organizations have started to move closer to having a common language around all their data assets. Uh, so they're increasing trust in data. We think that by 2025, growth in data marketplaces and data privacy regulations and in internal policies and data sovereignty concerns will lead about 60% of large organizations to include the chief data officers, along with the CISOs and uh, chief leaders legal officers and joint uh, risk management committees.